We do what we have trained our whole lives to do. Trust in the force. Believe in the path that is set out before us. Stand in defense of all peoples, not just of the Republic, but across the galaxy. We do what any Jedi would when staring into the face of evil. We fight. Mace Windu. Teresa Mano though noted for his grim demeanor, Windu was highly compassionate towards his fellow Jedi, the citizens of the Republic, and the clone troopers under his command. His own survival on Geonosis was of little comfort to him. The galaxy had fallen into a state of war, and the Jedi, once the peacekeepers of the Republic, were forced to adopt the mantle of warriors and military leaders. Windu worked closely with Supreme Chancellor Sheev Palpatine, often acting as an advisor to the leader of the Senate throughout the Clone Wars. As time went on, the Jedi champion grew increasingly suspicious of Palpatine's intentions. During the Zillow Beast's transportation to Coruscant, Windu strongly disagreed with the Chancellor's decision to bring the dangerous creature to the Republic capital. Though wary of Palpatine, Windu remained committed to his duty as a Jedi, which required him to ensure the safety of the Chancellor. Yet even this responsibility resulted in a disagreement between himself and the Chancellor. Palpatine claimed that the level of security around him was unnecessary during his visit to Naboo, but Windu insisted on taking every precaution to protect the Chancellor. In the waning days of the Clone Wars, Windu's trust and respect for Palpatine had all but evaporated. Following Dooku's death, he was uncertain whether Palpatine would relinquish his wartime authority as he once promised. At the same time, Windu came to sense the dark side of the force surrounding the Chancellor. By now he was certain that a plot was in motion to destroy the Jedi Order. When Skywalker confirmed that Palpatine's true identity was Darth Sidious, Windu was determined to take swift and decisive action against the Sith Lord, realizing that the fate of the Jedi Order hung in the balance. Although he initially attempted to arrest Sidious, Windu concluded that it was impossible to seek justice due to the Chancellor's hold over the system. He therefore decided to end Sidious' life before the latter could succeed in his plan to fully take over the Republic, despite Skywalker's insistence that killing the Sith Lord, disarmed and seemingly beaten, was against the Jedi Code. However, in concentrating all of his attention on preventing the galaxy from falling under Sith oppression, Windu failed to anticipate Skywalker's intervention, resulting in the demise of the Jedi Order's great champion.